In the year 2000, a seminal paper was published to address this problem, and it's based on a very clever strategy for what happens at the nodes in a network. Instead of treating the packets like cars and sending them one at a time, the idea was to instead treat packets as numbers and blend them together using mathematical operations such as addition, resulting in a new packet which contains a mixture of information from more than one packet. Think of these mixed packets as providing clues as to what packets are within them. This is a very novel idea, so let's return to our example to see exactly how it works. Let's say the video packet being sent can be represented by the number 1, and the audio packet can be represented by the number 4. When the video packet hits its first hub, it's the only one to arrive, so it's sent unchanged along all output lines. The same thing happens when the music packet hits its first hub. But now look at the middle hub. It receives two packets. So to avoid forming a line, it adds them together and sends the result as a single packet. Notice now that both households receive their packets just as fast as if they were alone on the network. Finally, the key step is to look at how we can unmix these mixtures on the receiving end. Let's look at household one. It received the video packet directly to extract the music packet out of the mixture, it needs to solve for the missing value by doing simple math we all learn in school. We know the video packet equals 1, and the video plus the music packet equals 5, therefore the music packet equals 4. And that's the great insight of this paper. We treat each mixture as an equation. The receiving computer solves for the variables or packets it needs. This is in sharp contrast to how the internet was originally designed because it allows multiple packets to travel the same line at the same time instead of having to get each packet in line and wait its turn.